everybody and welcome to the very first FFA Immortal Game, the Arcade and Blackpool Chess Tournament. I'm Woman Grandmaster Dina Belenka. And hi Dina, I'm Arta from Blackpool. So welcome all to the pre world tournament, the first one in real life and digital at the same time. As you can see here, we have eight players who are ready and the games have already started as far as I believe I can see this amazing players uh, being extremely nervous. Yes, there we go, four games already. Ooh, so exciting. So, basically, I'm very bad at chess. So, um, you will have to explain me a little bit what's going on and what in it's interesting in the games. Because right now, players are playing very fast. Is it Blitz? It is, it is Blitz. It's actually three minutes for each as far as I can see here, and uh, yeah, well, everything's gonna be super, super fast, so you're right. So uh, I assume we start game by game, and then we see how it goes. So uh, go. the first, and now like the, the first question comes to myself, can actually players listen to our commentary? Yeah, they can. So no, it's it it's basically it's basically like it's gonna at the same time like if we start discussing, for example, this position with the queen on d3, it's gonna be. Um, <laughs> It's going to be at the same time uh, disturbing them, but also helping them. What do you think? Is this going to more help them or disturb them? I hope it will disturb them, to be honest, because that's why we are alive. That's why we are in the same room with them. We want to disturb them. We want to feel the stress. Wow, beautiful. All right, so let, let them feel the stress. Let, let the, the, the game start. So I see this knight f4, very nice, attacking the queen on d3. Bishop takes f4. Now queen takes f4, and bishop c2 attacking the h7 spot someone wants to checkmate but it's not it's not a checkmate you can see g6 has just protected then rook e4 really nice move attacking the queen <laughs> and isn't this queen in d3 a strong position it is it is in a very strong position it's basically uh right now attacking on f2 also so i actually don't know who is uh who is more aggressive here white or black and i'm trying to look at the players and see their smiles and understand who is actually playing this game i don't see any smile do you see any oh i oh. see hands <laughs> okay so we have with uh we have with white pieces oh no oh. you're a queen Oh, the queen is gone. Wait, but you can take the other queen on f5. Don't worry. You can take the queen with, with, with white. Bishop c2 takes f5. Yeah, yeah there the we bishop go. Bishop will be gone. And then you take the bishop on e7, so it's it's fine. It's but you will have your pawn eaten on f2. <laughs> is it a good trade? It's. I think it's a good trade for black, definitely. So this game most likely will finish in draw unless one of them becomes extremely aggressive and wants to do something. So. Um, Yes, uh, players are on the laptops. I see already we have in chat some some questions. Players are playing on laptops, but they all sit in the same in the same room. You can see them on on the camera, on the other camera. All the participants here. There are exactly eight of them, four in front of four, and uh, right next to us there is um, our CAD user two, who is in the white uh, in white T-shirt, and I'm looking for his opponent. Our CAD user eight. Who is our CAD user 8? Do you have any idea? No idea, to be honest. I think it's uh, on this part on this part here because he's super focused, yeah. Oh, he's right, right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay, okay. So this game most likely will finish in a draw. Also, I think like the tempo, how it usually goes with, um, with Blitz games, it's that uh, you don't really have time to, to analyze several games at the same time. So you only go yeah. like game by game. And like this game, oh my gosh, what's oh. going on? Black is gonna win, ooh. Yeah, I think it, some of this, it's funny that some of the players actually have headphones, as you can see. And yeah. I think it, it protects them from, from our commentary. Or maybe they're listening to us. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you think it's our signal is right in the ear, so it's like yeah. even worse <laughs> than, than just being in this room. Yeah, someone is asking, uh, that's how they play live chess. Yeah, basically, um, I don't know if you already talked a little bit about uh, Immortal already, but the idea is that the game is on the blockchain. So obviously we can do f physical events, uh, but yeah, the idea is to always play online. Um, so yeah, that's, that's why. And uh, maybe it's time to talk a little bit about Radical Exchange. 
the association behind, well, not behind, but uh, to who we are donating during the whole weekend. Um, do you know a little bit Radical Exchange? Oh, 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 we'll come back to Radical Exchange, but someone wins. Yeah, the black one, one here, KUser8, let's see who that man is. Uh, uh, raise your hand. Don't, don't, oh, it was you. Okay, I see. It's well, the man you. in black. Oh. oh, it's funny how they actually... Wait, is that on purpose? They are white and black. Everybody is dressed sure. either white and black. <laughs> there Just is. There is only one mismatch over there. Like, you see two blacks near. Okay, let's close this game. Yeah, I, I actually am not aware of the all the... Um, all, all the... Um, um, main donations for this weekend so you are gonna tell us so much more about it and in the meantime for for our next game i'm gonna open this between the user one and the user three now we're gonna have to spot those guys so we'll try to understand who they are by mysterious smile i'm looking for a mysterious smile i can find it okay let's no. let's start discussing their positions criticize their moves and then there's gonna be a smile yeah so they all have pretty strong poker face now <laughs> Congratulations for the win, left guy. Congratulations, uh, left guy, for the win from, from our chat. All right, so uh, while this game going, you wanted to tell us more about the um, yeah. this special weekend operation. Yeah, exactly. So this whole uh, DRK tournament uh, taking place in Lisbon uh, during the whole weekend is uh, for a radical exchange. So there is uh, three tournaments uh, almost at the same time, two on FPS, uh, Evie the Tayo's Boneless, and one on chess with Immortal. And uh, everything is for charity. The donation pool is for charity. Uh, we make absolutely no profit about all this uh, event. And uh, we have an interview with Radical Exchange just after this live. So uh, it will be time to discover this association, uh, giving strength with technology to people. So, uh, yeah, guys, stay tuned after this live so we will understand a bit more about this association. This is so exciting. We're so much looking forward to this uh, interview right after the tournament. That means that uh, we can keep the suspense a uh, bit, bit longer and concentrate on the yeah, games. So. Exactly. Let's go back to the games. All right. So, so right now, tell us more. Because, yeah. Uh, yeah, what's going on? So we have this uh, really nice knight on e4 for black, and now white is trying exactly to kick this knight out by playing knight f2 to, to d2. You know they say, like, peace in your camp, because you can see it, like, if you divide the board into two parts, you see that the yeah. knight, black's knight, was in, in the opponent's camp. So it's like a, basically a stranger. When you have a stranger in your house, it's most likely a robber. And you kind of want to kick him out. So this is the best strategy. It's the same as with pieces. You really want to kick them out. That that what happened. So kudos to white. Oh my gosh. Oh, but Bishop why? G3. Wow. But, but why did he come into the opponent's side? Uh, almost sacrificing his... Uh, his knight. His knight, yeah. Well, it wasn't actually a sacrifice. It was it was a very smart idea. It was actually really nice to try to come to opponent's camp and to, to kick out the... You know, the... Um, the no, it's it's actually it's actually a good thing to to come to your opponent's territory because this is how you want to win. Oh my gosh! Oh. Why did you give your queen? Oh why? No way! <laughs> why did you give your queen? You, you shouldn't have. Okay, I mean, that was a sacrifice. At this, yeah, at this but, but <laughs> this okay. So between giving exchange, which has like rook against the bishop, and giving away your queen against the bishop, you chose to sacrifice your queen. But that that wasn't the time. Why did you do that? You shouldn't have. Wasn't a little bit early for this move. It was absolutely super early. It's actually never. It's actually always early. You should you should <laughs> never sacrifice your queen. It's just like really thing you should never do. But I see this guy. You see in in black. He's. It looks like he's not playing a game. What is he doing there? He's like waiting for. Like is he playing with white pieces and he's like, oh, I'm just a queen up. He's chilling. Yeah. Just chilling in Lisbon. Do you right think now. it's user? Do you think it's user one? Congratulations to user one who won his game. Who is that? Ooh. Ah, user one is over there. Uh huh. So that was another player. Okay, so GG is two whites. GG. Let's oh. see some other games we have. Let's close this one. Let's update the scene. Yeah, Radica. Yeah, we are in. And there is only one game right going now, on. Uh, thank you, Blikandia, for uh, 
Okay, but Probably don't forget, best. guys, we're playing Immortal Games, so we also have uh, quests, we have side quests, and these side quests, like, right now, for example, for this game, we have yep. the quest here. The king cannot be played three times in a row. Okay, for now, this is still possible. We win with at least four of my pawns alive. Pawns alive, pawns are still alive, this is good. And who is trying to win here? That's the question. Oh, wait, but the game is stopped. Oh, the game finished. White won. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, and, we uh, have new games. About this quest system, do you think it's something achievable for beginners or uh, it is more for advanced players or pro players? You know, this is the, the biggest um, rhetorical question of the whole Immortal Game uh, quest system because you never know. From one side, this is an extra challenge. From the other side, it can be extra source of... Um, where you lose your, your like, distraction. Yeah, that's the word. The source of distraction. You don't really know. It can be both. And at the end of the day, what you need is to win the game. So yeah. sometimes you get tempted to, you know, to um, to do those quests and that can distract you from, from playing good and you can lose. And we, even yeah. if you won all the quests, but you still lose, you lose every, every single achievement that you got for, for the quest. So um, Yeah, so you still need to win the game. Exactly, yeah. and now we see the king on g6, and we're not we're not super happy about this king because it's like, ooh, now it's even on he's h5. He's traveling alone. Yeah, <laughs> traveling alone. But the problem is this travel is so dangerous that it can't be your your last travel in your life. Yeah. Let's see who is user six traveling with his king to h5. Do you see any user six in this in this room? Who is user six? Ah, uh, oh, okay. user six is wearing a uh, how is it called? The same thing that you are wearing. Oh, a cap. A cap. User yeah. 6 is wearing Immortal Game cap. <laughs> okay, nice. So, User 6, say bye to your king. I guess that's, that's what's going to happen. Made in 1. Knight F3. Oh. I really love this one. And the User 4, finally. The User 4 with the, uh, with the branded hoodie with black bull over the air has just beat his opponent with a very, very fierce Knight on F3. Um, Ah, that was painful. Yeah. Ooh, I see another king running uh, everywhere. You see this king on D2? Yeah. Any idea what he's doing there? Absolutely no idea why he's doing that. Yeah. Now, explain me a little bit because... Well, <laughs> fortunately, I also don't know why. <laughs> you, you know, it's just, it's just because, like, it's, it's, it's like... Yeah, it's so against the rules of chess to, to bring your king so, so early into the game that I honestly don't know what, what the king is doing there, but... Okay, queen c2 trying to, to improve a little bit. D takes e4. Yeah, the thing is, like, you know, I think even, even players themselves, they don't have answers. Yeah, sometimes you just try things and uh, see what happens. Exactly. And okay. look at this um, look at this player over there who's just won his game. Seems like he's now helping his, uh, his neighbor, and I'm not sure this is allowed. So it's funny to see them discussing the game. But you know, at the same time, we're speaking about rules of cheating, having to hear two commentators covering yeah. the games right when they're being played. <laughs> it's like, yeah, how, how big cheating experts are we anyway? But maybe they're just talking about the pizza, you know, so... We don't know. The pizza yeah, that yeah. arrives in like 30 minutes. Yeah, exactly. And you gotta go and look for it. Yeah, just to take care of them. To, you know? to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah, gonna to pick sure. up the pizza, no? No, I don't. I oh, okay, don't. it's good, it's good, <laughs> because I really want my co-commentator being here. <laughs> don't, don't worry, I will stay here. Yeah. Okay, so this black knight in F2, what is he doing here? Uh, he's about to be... Uh, to be uh, oh, wow, he just took the rook on H1, then the rook took... Oh back so that was a really nice achievement for uh what's what's this for black yeah it was a good knight yeah that's a good trade no yeah that yeah. that's a very good trade because rooks are stronger than knights you know yeah, that exactly. yeah yeah it's yeah, nice yeah. How, wh what's your level in chess uh above very bad okay <laughs> just a little bit i, I yeah. have like 700 hello so that's very low i just play for fun but compared to like everybody in this room, because like bad is so uh, relative, yeah. Like, oh, I mean, I would get destroyed in like thirty seconds. You think so? Yeah. Have yeah. you ever played against one of these uh, players? No, I'm too shy. Okay. Do you know yeah. the one of the any of these players or participants? Uh, yeah, I know a little bit of the one on the top left here in the user white, four. Uh, yeah. I, I like how we have numbers instead of names. Yeah. Uh, it's very um, <laughs> it's very personalized. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So you know some of these players, okay? But maybe after this commentary, you'll you'll uh, find a new uh, new passion, which will be chess. Also, guys, everybody who is watching us on both channels, do not hesitate to ask any questions in the live chat. We yeah. are having the chat right in front of our eyes. So basically, seriously, yeah. any questions you have, feel welcome. Do not be afraid. Uh, anything about the games, about the organization, about about Blackpool or the arcade or Immortal yeah. game, you are most welcome. We we are reading everything. We have both chats just in front of us, so feel free to ask anything. And also feel free to give me compliments for my trash talk uh, level of today. Seriously, it's more than welcomed. Okay, so here, as you can see, another exchange up because Black has, I mean, had. Black oh. has a knight and the rook, and, and okay, now, now oh, it's yeah, just, yeah, oh, yeah, a game yeah. over. Checkmate Congratulations, now. user five. Who is user five? Hello, oh, user well, five. Yeah. Uh, Beep, you're the, user the, top, one. the top hero guy from the room. I okay, think. so we, ha we have had so many games finished, so we can actually already have the leaderboard, perhaps. Yeah, let's have a look. Let, so. let, let's see. We have user 5, who has the best score because he won three games, all three games. But we yeah. have also user 7, who also won all three games. But the difference between these two users is that user 5 has done more quests, oh, got more okay. points. That's amazing. Got more IP points. And so, the second spot, sorry for interrupting, we no. have user 8. Look, user 8 only won two games. But yeah, he's still exactly. super high. Yeah, it's because of the IP points. So do you know if uh, the ranks are based on the IP points? Or on the they win are. rates? Yeah, yeah they okay. are. They definitely are. Because otherwise it wouldn't be. So, okay. So we, we still have... Um, Okay, we, we still have more games to go, so let's go back. Now, uh, you choose the game, right or left? Okay, it seems that uh, right is finished, so let's go on uh, on left. Oh, no, it's not, okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, the king on the center like this, you can say it's finished. Yeah, okay, almost, let's, yeah. let's, let's, let's look at this one. User 8 is playing with white pieces and has just taken something in the center. Congratulations, user 8. Someone what have you is, taken the pawn? Someone is asking what's the ratio of male and female players. I mean, in this room, it's only male players. Yeah, but uh, it's open to all. So it's just yeah. that uh, uh, for it's like in life, you know, what's the ratio between the females and I mean, not not like in life, but like in 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 professions, like in in the fields, like what's the ratio between men and women usually. Um, when it comes to the highest performance, males have more. Uh, there are more males, but that doesn't mean that women were not allowed to play it. Oh, look Ooh. at this knight to e6! No, knight e6 checkmate! What the? What the? Uh, what did you do? What what happened? Knight e6. You had checkmate, and then and then black would have to sacrifice the queen. He wanted some more tension. I mean, it's I winning think. anyway. But if you play king c7 now, I'm helping you. Or d5. It's even better. See? Okay, d5. maybe I could play. You know, when I see that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Just why, wait, wait, why, why, why just give away a bishop? Why did you give a bishop for free? Bishop takes d5 was absolutely... You, uh, ah, what's happening in this game? Keeps me frustrated. Like, when we, when we turned on here, white was completely winning. And now yeah. white is just being kicked away and away. Trying oh, to know, see who is... Uh, pressure. Who is playing. Pressure and commentators. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, is pressure pressure something important to manage in, in chess? Oh, it's the most important, I'd say, pressure. It's like everything is about pressure, but but pressure. But you know when well, it's like any competition, like like if you yeah. like the moment you manage to deal with pressure, you become a grandmaster. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's not when the moment when you start like studying the rules of chess. It's <laughs> when you manage to deal with the pressure. You have to become uncrushable. Yeah. Basically, yeah. Exactly. F3, I really like that. But still, there was absolutely no, no reason to give away the bishop. Just so that you know, I, I won't I won't forget this this blunder. What is this point uh, pawn doing right now? This black pawn pawn, sorry, on uh, E3? Yeah, wow, you 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 know the chessboard, that's that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> you, you managed to read the the numbers and the, the letters, it's good. So the pawn on the E three is in fact really dangerous because it was attacking this knight that just came came up to B three. Let me see if I can draw errors. No we, uh, I cannot. Okay, no, so the pawn was attacking the knight. Yeah. Now knight is gone. But the thing is like now the pawn is attacked because it's like knight can take and then bishop can take. 
And you see, like, there was the, the queen was just in front of the rook on e1. So the queen moved to yeah. c7. And now white can basically take this pawn on e3 anytime. So this pawn, it was like, a, it was like it was strength and weakness at the same time. Yeah, okay. One of the first uh, thing chess players told me to stop underestimate pawns. Because when we start chess, we just think like they are trash pieces <laughs> at the beginning. And uh, it changed a lot for me to, to learn about uh, how to use a little bit of uh, the pawns. But I'm always surprised when I see this kind of moves, you know, like, yeah, okay, finally, the black pawn got eaten by exactly. the bishop. Exactly, yeah, so what was your question once again? Sorry? What was your question once again? Yeah, uh, I mean, how to, how to get better with pawns? Basically, okay. yeah. Ooh, look at this really nice check over there. But wait, why didn't you take the queen? Knight takes wow. d1. Thank you for the queen. Why didn't you take the queen? It was a gift. The, but the queen was giving a check. But but the, you take the queen, and then there is no check. Exactly. See? Yeah, it's actually super exciting because you get really you get to annoy players when they are right in the game. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> it's, it's, it's I think it's the most Ooh. exciting trash talk level I've ever I've ever had because you can actually trash talk like two players who yeah. play <laughs> between each other and try to give their best. Wow. Okay, so um, your question: How to get better with pawns? I don't think there is any answer because I think in general it's how to get better at chess. Yeah. Because there are pawns, there are pieces. Everything is a part of the game, and you don't really like. Um, you don't like mm, deviate one from another. But one thing I can tell you as an advice is that pawns do not go backwards. Yeah. Ooh, bishop takes Ooh. rook. Yes. That's the move. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. White wins. Wait, what? White wins? White. Flag? Time? You flagged him? No way. Okay, explain me just what happened. So, <laughs> white wins by timeout. So, black lost on time. Black forgot the time because black Ooh, was okay. too much concentrated on the commentary. Yeah. Black forgot the time. <laughs> we distracted time. him a little just bit. Black, 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 <laughs> black literally took all the best pieces of white and had yeah. completely winning position, but lost on time. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, okay. happens. It's basically like yesterday, most, mostly. Remember yesterday? Yeah, yesterday, like this this user, user you already don't know what's the number, but the, the person who was playing black pieces, yeah, the white person was, yeah. who was playing black pieces, actually yesterday played against me, and uh, he, he was the toughest opponent I had like during the, the whole evening. Oh, okay. Yeah. Did you lost? No, I, I still managed to win, but wow. it was, you know, a very dirty win. Very, very <laughs> dirty win, yeah. Okay, let's let's open some other games. Which game do you prefer? One, two, or three? Uh, let's go for one, because it's it seems that it's going pretty fast here. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Queen b3, nice. Protecting the bishop on b5, because the bishop is attacked. Yeah. Making total sense. Yeah. Uh, okay, and uh, <laughs> it's funny that you said this game is going fast and now everybody's thinking. Queen d7 would be the only move, otherwise if you move the knight, the b7 pawn was attacked, so queen d7 correct. Knight d5, ooh, ooh, thank you for the queen, take the queen, That's yes, big. congratulations, user 4, who's user 4? User four. Ah, oh. they were, now they're playing the neighbors. Yeah, you can, you know, like to thank him for the queen. So the trash talk is actually a good level. You can even do like this, you know, <laughs> on the shoulder. You can, you can like knock your, knock your neighbor to the shoulder and say thank you for the queen, man. But honestly, I support this player because he's from Blackpool. So. Uh, ah. Yeah. You mean like the player who just lost the queen? Yeah. Okay, nice. Well, maybe with your support. But I still support him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I think we need support. to trash talk him more. Okay, even more. <laughs> and then just lost his queen. You want to trash talk him even more with our help, <laughs> in a way. You want to trash talk him even more. Okay. Yeah, also, chat, once again, reminder for you do not hesitate to um, ask us any questions. Yes, feel, feel, feel your participation right over here. Do not. Um, we, we watch you and we wait for your, for your exciting comments. Comments on the topic of the of the event obviously would be 
most welcome. Knight c6. Aha. Uh -huh. I like that. Attack the knight. Um, well, so what black is doing here basically is just trying to... Uh, just doing any move because any yeah. move wins here. Like literally, as long as you don't give any pieces back. Yeah, he's pushing his apartment uh, right now, right? He's pushing the white back. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, definitely. And in general, like when you're such a big material up, like here, an extra queen up, you you just you just do moves. Yeah. You don't really have to like mm, have any any plan. Just oh, what is this game? The bishop e three. Why? Why did you give the bishop? You shouldn't have given the bishop. What what that was the that was exactly what I was saying. See, like you 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 do anything, but you don't give pieces. Yeah. And that was exactly the con the the contrary of what happens because black just gave a bishop for nothing. Yeah, and he could just chill a little bit because he has a big advantage now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, black player's time timer. We have a question. So black has uh, one minute and five seconds, while yeah. white has. Uh, yeah, it's actually whenever who has the whose move it is. The time is green, so you can actually see it. I like why once it's the person's move to play, their timer is is better seen. I almost never played blitz. I mean, just a little bit for fun, but I'm pretty bad at it. And uh, because time management is so hard for me, because when I play, I have to to think about what I will do next and what the player, the opponent is doing. So isn't the time management the first thing to enhance? When you it's want to go into blitz, yeah, definitely. Because like in blitz, time is the key of everything that's happening. Time is the decisive decisive factor of the of the speed of the game. Time is the decisive factor of like if you win or lose. Like we saw, like when the man had uh, all the pieces on earth and he still managed to lose. <laughs> Hi to that and man. He was, and he was supposed to win at this moment. Exactly, he yeah. was supposed to win. So yeah. Um, <laughs> and can you put pressure with time on your opponent in Blitz? Yeah, when you play super fast. Like, okay. it's it's not just, by the way, it's not only in Blitz. It's in general. When you play super fast, you put a lot of pressure uh, to your opponent. But really be careful because... Oh, take the rook with the bishop! Yes, yeah. take the rook with the bishop. Say thank you. Exactly. Bravo. And now take what, the rook. Why did you give the second rook? You shouldn't have given the second rook. Amazing, I really love it that. Was, it was a gift at, it, at this yeah, time. <laughs> I really love that. See, see, guys, how... how um, it's actually really mean from the part of the commentator. And, uh, yeah, but I think, like, when, when we start thinking... Uh, when we start helping to the part, we're suffering. Take the pawn on d4. Take the pawn on d4. It's unprotected. With a queen. Bravo. So when we help <laughs> to the part, who is... Now, queen c4, pin the rook. Queen c4, pin the rook. <laughs> Pin the rook! I'm telling you! Queen to see. Wait, what? Ooh, well, yeah. White wins? Why? By Time. timeout? Time. Yeah. No way! This is not fun! <laughs> this is not fun! Oh my gosh! Yeah! So what happened is that here, like you were asking me about the time. See, yeah. once again, time is a factor. You really need to to pay attention to your to your time. But here, the nice thing is like when we're playing Blitz, we're playing with increment. Or are we not? What's actually the time control? Are we playing with increment? I don't know. No increment? No, we're not. Ooh, so it's 3 KO. Oh, well, mm. you really need to play fast in that case. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Because at the end of the timer, uh, the player with less pieces lose, basically? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, time out again. Yes. Well, kind of, yeah. It's, uh, it's KO. All right, let, let's see, let's update the games that we have right now. Yeah. And what we have in terms of, of the leaderboard. Raise your hands if you're a bullet lover. Yeah, it's a bullet. Bullet is a very... Do you know what a bullet is? I don't. You don't? So no, bullet... tell me. Yeah. So bullet is... Uh, uh, it's even faster than blitz. Bullet is one minute each on time. So here what we see is blitz, it's three minutes each, but bullet is one minute only. And it's like you you like you literally have time only to move pieces, like physically. Yeah. And you also man need to like to manage to to think at, at this time as well. So it's it's pretty hard. But ooh, knight oh knight E seven with a fork. Ooh. Let's go. Very beautiful one. Don't tell me you saw it before I told you. 
Don't tell me you saw it on your own. <laughs> nice, nice one. So yeah, that's oh, nice. bullets. And we have a lot of bullet our lovers in our chat because it's actually extremely addictive. I personally, I, I never suggest people to do that because I think it's like extremely, um, it's um, it's really bad. Like in a way, um, how can I, what, what example can I give you? It's like, oh yeah, it's like you're you're going to a casino and you play for money. Oh, you play poker for money, but yeah. you never studied. Yeah. This is the same. Bullet is the same. Like you were addicted to por to playing poker and you never studied. it. So okay. like what you do is like you really often lose money because you don't know how to play. Yeah, okay. That's the it's bullet. It's basically like playing music. If you want to play well, you have to play slow first and learn everything. Train your muscle yeah. memory, train your memory. And then you can go fast. Yeah, I think this this is a nice example. Definitely smoother. Okay, here Y wins because of the of the rook. Let's go for some other game. I really love that. See, it's like you're like like I think I feel like we're like you know two 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 devils who are right there <laughs> on like and uh, above their head, whispering yeah. to their ears like what I to never, do and I what to do. I never casted chess, and uh, honestly, it's fun. Yeah, it's fun to see all these people under pressure because we are. We are mean to them. Exactly. So let's be mean to this user 5 and user 8. We have user 5 whose bishop is attacked. Careful for your bishop. You really need to do something with it. Don't spend too much time. Either you move the bishop away or you take the knight. But you don't spend too much time because, as you said, time management is super important. And here, why not taking the, the knight here? Is a bishop more important than the knight? In general, in open positions, bishops are stronger than knights. And okay. How do you define an open position? You basically look at like how like how many pawns are there blocked. Here you see that all the pawns are not connected, and you see that there are a lot of a lot of space, yeah, on the board yeah. in general. Like yeah. so, the position is open. You have open files, like the pawn, the file C is open, like semi-open. We say because there is only one pawn. Yeah. The, the file D is semi-open because there is also only one pawn. Okay. Yeah. So so here bishops are stronger. Take with a pawn. Always take the pawn, improve the pawn. Like, take with a pawn. I'm telling you, what are you waiting for exactly? 95. Now, be careful for your C. I think here the most strongest would be C3. You put the pawn in a way that you block the opponent's bishop on G3. Oh, See, so you, okay. you make some kind of a barrier. So, C3 is a good move. Wait, why don't you listen to me? Why don't you listen to me? I'm, gi I'm giving you good advice. It would be cheating. Well, this, isn't that what, what we are here for? Yeah, a little bit, yeah, yeah. We no, seriously. For, we are here for the entertainment. Okay. <laughs> yeah, now, like, the biggest weakness of black is the pawn on each seven. Uh, then, yes, and, oh, Wasn't wow. it interesting to put the knight here? Because, obviously... Yeah, yeah, it that, was that, was a, to... that was nice, because it gained tempo, because it was with a check. And now black, you see, black just got an extra pawn, thanks to that, because they played g5, they pushed the okay. bishop out, and now they took on c2. Really nice, that. I think the users are actually listening to trash talk. <laughs> yeah, I think I also think so, because we can see them. I, I don't know, guys, if you can see them sometimes. You, you should be seeing the players as well, because their camera is often on them, but they are smiling. They are smiling a lot, especially when they know that they are, we're talking about them. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, be careful, there is a May threat. Be very much careful, there is a May threat here. On, I mean, it's not a May threat, but it's pretty annoying. It's pretty annoying with, with the rook coming to, to C1 check, but there is the other rook can protect rook yeah. E1. Yeah, and now for the black rooks, uh, I mean, the, there is one, yeah, okay. So Ooh, no. <laughs> that's a gift, take with a bishop. Bishop takes C3, exactly. Yeah. Thank you for the rook. Yeah, you were saying, sorry. No, I actually things moved so fast, but exactly. uh, I, I was saying the two black groups were, were protecting each other. Yeah. yeah, they were protecting, but they were attacking. And user, user 5 just beat user 8. Congratulations, what an amazing... Yeah. Who is user amazing 5 here? User 5. We try to recognize user five. Oh, user okay. 5 is here. But user 5 is having headphones. Do you think these headphones are, are like... But he still can hear us. Yeah. So yeah, what yeah. is in headphones? For music, maybe. What is in headphones? <laughs> it's it's concentration. But how do you <laughs> hear us anyway? What like wait? This is not funny. Because we are talking loud. 
Oh yeah, true. You know, it, it, there is something it reminds me of. It actually reminds me of chess boxing because in order to like, <laughs> when you do the chess part in chess boxing, you also have the headphones. And in that case, I think it's some kind of a music. Yeah. It's some kind of a music in the headphones, which it either helps you to concentrate or distracts you. And the a small spoiler, a, a small spoiler is that I might actually have a match one day soon in chess boxing as well, but we won't get to that right now. Let's see what's happening on this chess board. Oh, someone is saying all these gifts make me think that <laughs> it's a charity stream. I mean, you're not wrong, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, maybe man or girl, I don't know. But yeah, it's a charity stream, and I think the players are uh, very generous tonight. Yeah, Sugar Dealer. Sugar Dealer is... is uh, uh, most likely a a male. He's a very um, very um, like often member of no, that's not often uh, oh, Fidel yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, member of our community. Rook G seven and Rook Ooh. Rook back to G three. Prepare the checkmates. Rook back to G three. I'm telling that's you, Rook G seven to G three, and you prepare the checkmate. Listen to me. No, but this is not it. This is not good because now Bishop controls the H four square. So checkmate threat is not there. So here what we're... But it's still like it seems the winning. Okay, now rook g4 to g3. No, why not? Okay, now now, now it's not actually... <gasps> Knight... It's... Uh, it doesn't look like a checkmate to me. Yep. King g7, only move. What are you thinking of? Rook h7, king f8, rook takes f7, king... Why? What happened? A checkmate? Uh, oh! oh! Whoa, this is so beautiful. Oh, that's clean. Knight e6. I did not see that at all. Look at this. Congratulations. The man the man overcame the commentator. Wow. Beautiful. User five. No, user two. Yeah. Amazing mate. So beautiful. His mind game was so strong, he, he brained <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He was like, you two are saying it's such a nonsense. <laughs> I'm going to prove the world that I know better how to win my own games. Ooh, beautiful. Here. Uh, okay. Sorry for uh, this noise. I don't know if you guys got that in the ears, but... Uh, yeah, Back to normal again. Um, okay, knights to f3. That was very, uh, very nice musical ac accompaniment. Let's call it like this. Chill atmosphere. Yeah, queen e2 and now queen e7. Okay. Um, it looks to me like a theory of some. Um, oh, we actually have ratings here, and I can see now that yeah, it looks like a theory of. Um, I didn't finish my first phrase. It looks like a theory of um, the Petrov. And here, 1555 is the rating of user 2. Yeah. User 4 is 1380. So as you can see, that makes user user 2 uh, uh, slightly stronger. But I don't know if it's their uh, official account. Uh, maybe it's just the account for the tournament. Yeah, most likely. But how, oh, yeah, like, but but it, yeah. It, but, but this rating, you know, it kind of accumulated yeah. after yeah, all true. the games that they played. Yeah, true, true. So yeah, in a way, in a way, it actually shows like their level, at least compared to to the level of what what like everybody has. H three, okay, and now Bishop D three. A kind of likewise position. Most most likely, I like it because um, because I actually studied this line myself. In a way, I wanted to play it, so it's called like openings theory. Like in chess, yeah. you know, you have a theory. It's I think the good example to to explain what a theory is like. As you said, in music you study notes, and in chess you study like first um, most like moves, most likely happening moves. Okay. Yeah, this is called opening theory. So this this setup, yeah, is 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 a theory that I also studied myself. You see the bishop on a two. I'm yeah. gonna give you a hint. You know, you can try to trap this bishop if you play, for example, c4 with a pawn. Yes. It's a very strong move. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. You're most welcome. <laughs> and then you move the bishop away, like the bishop to um, from b2, and then you go king b2, and you attack the bishop. So now what black needs to do is to save the bishop. And there is one way, but it would be sacrificing the pawn. Okay, knight b4. So the knight is protecting I don't like that. the bishop, but it's a pretty weak defense now. Yeah, I don't like yeah. that because it's possible to play just like, let's say, bishop c3, exactly, yeah. to attack the knight. Exactly. And now, like, the only move for black is a5, because if you take the bishop on d3, 
after Pontix. Oh, it saves. It actually is fine. What are you thinking of? It's your only move, literally. You don't have any other option. Okay, now yeah. there is bishop b3. And the bishop is, is, is safe. So forget everything I was saying. Bishop b3, your bishop is safe. But it's now or never. If you don't do it now, okay, now it's fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now it's fine. And the bishop is safe. It's a free man. He's, uh, he's ready for the big world. Who is having an advantage here? I... Um, yeah, tell me, because right don't now, really know. I, I cannot tell. Yeah, I don't really know. Okay, black is like being very desperate, trying to take all the pawns. <gasps> yeah. Ooh, that's nice. King f8 is the only move here to save a material, because this bishop on e7 is being attacked. Yeah. And the bishop cannot move, because... Wait, why Why did you give the bishop? I told you King f8. Ooh. Why didn't you listen? King F8 was the only way to, 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 to protect your bishop. Rook takes E7. Now, now white is having a very big advantage. Because if yeah. you count the number of pieces... Wait! Why do you give another pawn? Why did you give another pawn? You don't have to give another pawn. Bishop takes F6. Yeah, of course. It's, it's gonna happen. So what? What you just just count the number of pieces. See, there is a bishop. There is. Why did you take on the pawn on F6? The pawn on F6 was free. Okay, so bishop and knight. Yeah, and uh, no, no, he can attack two. Yeah, well, that's the even rook stronger. And the bishop at the same time. That's even stronger. Okay, yeah. so you see, this position is completely winning for white because, like, rook takes rook, king takes, yeah. and then bishop takes the pawn, and it's just the extra bishop. Yes. Take the pawn. Finally, Let, let's finish this yeah. now and forever. It's round robin. Yeah. Yes, it is. You gonna play more games? It must be uh, if you played the. Yeah. So you have uh, some more games, yeah. Okay, that's that's nice. Yeah. Well, normally we have eight players here, so it's Robin Robin. So everybody plays against everybody. Good evening to people who join us right now. This is a very first and a very special Immortal FFA chess tournament together with Blackpool and the Arcades and. Uh, we are actually having a very first uh, IRL online chess tournament. So people, exactly. contesters, they're sitting right here in this, in this room. There are eight of them, four against four. I mean, four in front of four. Everybody has their own laptop and, uh, and the chair. And it looks really cool. Yeah, actually, it's really looking like... Uh video game tournaments I'm more used to and uh, we can we, we kind of feel the same excitement and the same trash talk that in uh, lands. So uh, you s you're saying you're more used to, to that kind of format for yes. video games? Tell me, commentators, when they cover the games, can players hear them? No, most of the times they cannot because when you're commenting, I don't know, FPS or uh, any kind of strategy game, you have to talk about what a team is doing or what a player is actually doing. So you can give big hints to players while saying, oh, it's interesting because they are doing bid for that. That's exactly what we are doing right now. Yeah, but they cannot hear us, no. you said. No. Yeah, so here it's an extra quest. You know, Immortal Game, they're very special, very special game that has very special quests. And this time they imagined they created an extra new quest Win a game of chess, whereas the commentator is helping your opponent. <laughs> and if you do that, I'm, I'm, I'm curious how many IPs would you get for that? And I'm looking now at Immortal Game Ambassadors right here, but they, they, they pretend they don't listen to me. But I'm really curious how many points you get for this just, extra quest. Just ignoring us right now. Yeah, they're ignoring <laughs> us. But that, that's, that's a good one. But it's, sometimes it's like win a game of chess with the help of the commentator, and sometimes it's win the game of chess when the commentator is helping your opponent. And I see some players looking at us. Does that mean that they, their game's finished? Yeah, maybe we can, have a, we can have a look. It's like playing poker with your cards face up. Kind of. But I mean, it would be like playing poker with your cards face up and someone trash talking you every time you do something. So win a game of chess in spite of chatty commentators. Yeah. Nice one. Okay, let's look at this game. So you see that the bishop on g5 is attacked. Yeah. And, and uh, ooh, so much tactics over 
And over here going on, I really like this D take C6 because as you can see, not only white took the, the knight on C6, yes. but also attacking the queen. Yes. On this seven, a really nice move. Okay. But what um, what would be the point here? Because a queen can just take the pawn. Yeah, but but they like you you kind of want to take more. But I mean, it's a good it's a good move. Yeah. I actually think that your suggestion would be better than what happened in the game. Yeah, queen takes uh, the pawn. Yeah. But the point was that that white took the knight and black took okay. the pawn. So, so the it was a good trade. It was it was a, it was an achievement for for white because oh, they won okay. a knight. A knight is three pawns and a pawn is one. Points. Okay. Yeah, exactly. My PC crashed. I hope this is not a player in this room who is who is writing this in chat in our Twitch chat. <laughs> no, yes. No, it's not because no, it's not. I, okay, I actually good. saw a player who was like who was looking at us and he didn't have anything to do. So I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Did you like in the meantime you came to the Twitch chat to say that your PC crashed and you cannot continue your game? Coming so. on his phone like this even is shit. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Queen B3, interesting. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah, you see, white is trying to treat queens because white yeah. is under attack. Like, black already castled, white's king is in the center, so black is the one who attacks. So, as you can guess out of what I said, here white really wants to trade queens, and black shouldn't have played this knight e7. Instead, black should have put the queen out, you know, away yeah. to, to avoid the Protect. trade. To protect her. To it's not protect because she, it okay. was protected. It's more like to remove it from the exchange, the way okay. exchange. Like for example, like you have two melons, and I no, you have two uh, two uh, orange oranges, and I have two apples, and I say let's yeah. trade, and you say no, no, you're you're gonna hide your orange, and you're not gonna trade it for my apples. Mm. I mean, I don't know how good of an example <laughs> is that one, but I think uh, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now, yeah. Yeah, okay, this is this is a trade. Oh, another thing why black does not, should not have traded those queens is that actually a very important thing I didn't notice. Count the number of pieces. Bishop, knight, knight. versus knight. So white, oh, is, okay, so white is an extra piece. And when so you're an extra piece, you don't want to trade queens because you don't want to yeah. go to the end game because the end game is where you will get killed if you have less pieces. Yeah, so basically white is playing time now. Exactly. Mostly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But remember, there is no increments. So now you see black has only 14 seconds. Yeah, most likely black will lose this game, even yeah. probably lose on time. It's actually really wild now that I realize yeah. that okay. there's no increments. Yeah, why wins? And what? user five, congratulations. No, that's correct. Yeah, okay. That's correct because of the time. I mean, oh, because of the piece. Okay. Okay, okay. I, th I think actually, I think, oh, by checkmate. Oh, checkmate in the middle of the board Ooh. in the end game. How beautiful That's is that? That's really clean. That's really nice. Look at this knight. Wow. Super, super cool. Congratulations to the user 5. Look at the rating. 1794. It's almost oh. 1800. The man is strong. Yeah, I think it's only a win streak. Maybe wow. we can have a look at the leaderboard a little bit before going to Anna's game. That's a great idea. Let's have a look at the yeah. leaderboard. Oh, no. He lost one game. Yeah. User 5 lost only wow. one game. See, guys, this is a very concrete example of the principle how Immortal Game works. The whole Immortal Game system is that we have the user who is uh, number 5. And he won only 6 games and lost 1. But he's ahead of the user number 7 who actually won all the games. Because yeah. here it's not just about winning your games, but also about completing your quests. And yeah. the person who manages to balance between both gets the biggest attention. And I think we have our winners now. Already, this is the leaderboard. The tournament yeah. has finished? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I, I that was think, fast. I think it's finished. Let me just check with the administrator so we don't announce the winner before, but uh, I think it's finished. Wow, that was fast. How did you like that, uh, guys? Please tell us in chat how did you feel about it. I see that everybody is becoming super chatty here in the room. Seems like everybody indeed finished all their games. Yeah, it's finished actually. Use a five one, and uh, maybe you can do a little interview. Okay, congratulations, so user five, who user has five. won the, the tournament with eleven thousand seven hundred four. 
It's this guy with points. the headphones during all the games. Oh, the guy <laughs> with the headphones who presented that he did. Okay, let let me announce every uh, winner here because we have also second place who is user seven, seven. eleven thousand two hundred forty-eight IP points. Uh, where is user? So, who's user seven? Yeah, who was user seven? Okay, okay. user seven was over there, and user eight is on the third spot with yes. seven points. User. User, user eight. eight, I think he's on the left, and I think user he's a user black, eight. He's a black Raise your player. hand. User eight. Us no, oh, that's user eight him. Is okay, here. I, th I think interview is a good good idea. What do you think, guys? In chat, tell us if you want to have a a winner here. It would be nice, and uh, I I just see something. It's the difference, the points difference between player the the first and the third is quite huge, right? I mean. 11 and 700 Yeah, it's points. crazy. It seems like we do have like two, like, so to be the strongest. Yeah. And it was extremely tough, tight for, for both of them because both of them are with 11,000. Yeah. And we only have like the, the, the next one, yeah, with, with the eight is, is a bit behind. Wow. But then we see like everybody else is just at 4,000 and so. Yeah. 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 That's, that's really interesting to see all the points difference in the end. So we will have, you will. Have a quick interview with oh, the winner. Oh, let's go. A quick interview so, with the winner. Yeah, and I will. User 5, the man himself, is right here, you ready for here. an interview. How are you doing, my friends? Well, I'm doing fine, thank you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Congratulations on your amazing win. Thank you. Uh, I suggest you speak closer to the microphone oh. so that everybody <laughs> can hear. Well, not that close, but uh, yeah. I don't know the recipe myself. Anyway, what's your name? Uh, Ricardo. Ricardo? Ricardo. Ah, Ricardo. <laughs> okay, your name is Ricardo. Look at the camera, Ricardo. Say hi. Wave your hand. Guys, here is the winner of the tournament. User 5, Aka Ricardo, has won the tournament. Congratulations. Thank you. So tell us, how were the games? And most precisely, how many of them did you manage to win with or, yeah, thanks to commentators' help? All right, I want to. All right, I wasn't even listening to your comments. Oh, uh, that's why you won the tournament. Because you only um, actually commentated only one of the only one of the games. Yeah. And that was when uh, my opponent pointed the rook, so not even worth mentioning it. So you saw it yourself already, yeah? I mean, the bishop was attacking the rook, so. I, yeah, I you guess, saw so, it, yeah. so it didn't help you. So, yeah. yeah. Um, the games were fine. I actually had a really nice game against. Um, Users, no one that plays second. Users, user two? Yeah, I think so. User no. two, who is user two? It wasn't user two. User two declined. Yeah, no, user user seven, user seven. U user uh, seven, it was your second game. Yeah. User seven, who is user seven? User seven is right there. So are you saying that user seven was your toughest opponent? Yeah, I mean, he played a nice Karakan and I just wandered the night away, so. You know, it's actually funny because uh, if we look at the leaderboard, user 7 is the man who is just behind you, and he's the man who won all his games. So you actually lost against user 7. Yeah, That's why it was your hardest game. Yeah. And regardless of this loss, you still managed to beat everybody. Because you, I mean, to win the, the, the tournament. Because you completed all the quests. Yeah. So how did you, like, you, you must be a very experienced Mortal Game user. I mean, I played like uh, three days ago sometimes. Um, the arbiter just told me the rule and I went for them. Wait, so you're saying you've been playing on the Mortal Game platform only for three days? Yes. And like in three days, like and also today, like with the rules, you managed to, uh, to, to do everything according to the instruction? I mean, they told me that wins do not matter, so I want to place first in the game. So I'd, I want to win, of course, but I want to do the quest first and foremost. Wow, that's so impressive! Wow. So, guys, this is this is actually the this is a <laughs> what? Okay, you need to come closer. We need to come closer because there is the camera there. Okay. You see, this means here you come closer. Right, huh? Like maybe next time we will help you. No, I'm actually just joking. But the thing is that um, what was I saying? I already forgot. That's you are the strongest here. No, I was saying that, yeah, that's the, that's the answer to the question that we had earlier with my co-host, like how important it is to make the, to, to follow the quests, 
to follow the quests and like compare to play the game. So here's the man who managed to do it perfectly. You actually should pay attention to the quests and you actually should, uh, yes, like do do what what they said because this actually brings more points than, than the win. But once again, you know, it's not that precise because you still won six games and you lost only one. So I think this is the perfect balance. I think in six games you still went for for the result as well because otherwise when you lose a game you don't get any points because of the quests. That is true. The only thing that the Immortal game does to me is that I sometimes you have to take some risks. For example, in some of my games I traded one of my really good bishops for a knight because the quest was to take the knight first. Wow. And I just was like, I want to win, but I want to play first, so I will try the bishop and see where it goes and try to close the position so I could play with the knight. But in normal chess, I would have never played that move. You said normal chess. Do you uh, actually play normal chess? Yeah, I do. What's your rating? In Blitz or Classical? Mm, I mean, do you play more online or over the board? Over the board. Oh, you're no. Oh, you're actually a chess player. Yeah. I do. Wow. So, what's your over the board? Like, you have a feeder rating? Yeah, I do. In classical, I'm 2040. Wow, 2040. Wow. Are you like? Do you have a club? Yeah, I do. What's your club? Uh, Alekine. Alekine yeah, from. GX Alekine. From from what country? In Portugal, Portuguese. big shout out, you're Portuguese, yeah. big shout out to Alikan Chess Club in Lisbon. Yes. Nice. Uh, okay, okay. So, well, listen, it's been a while we have you here, so I guess it's time for us to wrap up. So, once again, very big, um, very big congratulations for winning the tournament. Um, thank you for sharing your experience and most importantly, your recipe, your winning recipe, mm -hmm. when you have this balance between the quests and... Uh, the game of chess and hope you enjoyed it and hope we'll see you again at the mortal game yeah certainly did enjoy it and thank you and uh, thank you for inviting me to this tournament thank you and uh it's the end of this tournament but it's just the beginning of the weekend of chess tournaments you will be back uh in 10 minutes for an interview of radical exchange and you will be back tomorrow for more chess casts. So we are super ha happy to have you, Dina, and to have Immortal. Thank you very much for uh, coming to Lisbon. And uh, see you later. And thank you for inviting me. So as far as I understand, we are taking a 10 minutes uh, break, po break yeah. and we'll be back um, uh, very shortly for an interview with the uh, with the charity that we are doing for this weekend. Exactly. Um, Precise, please. Uh, does the stream continue? And it will we, uh, continue um, on Blackpool channel um, from now. Yeah. And uh, so we, we just we're gonna put the 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 pause. Yeah, the 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 be right back scene, right? Yes, exactly. And right. Um, yeah, thank you very much, and uh, see you for uh, for the interview. And uh, in one hour there will be the Bornless cast for uh, fun games. So, horror game, if you want to come and cast a little bit, you're welcome. Wow, that's so exciting, guys. If anyone watching this stream is in Lisbon right now, you're, you're invited. Yeah, you're invited. definitely. <laughs> and uh, if you want to see a little bit of the... Where can they find the information? Uh, on Blackpool Twitter? On, yeah, everything is on Blackpool Twitter. Blackpool Twitter. Yes. Shout out to that. Okay, yes. guys, so we're going to be back shortly with an interview. I assume that's going to be a be right back scene. So those exactly. of you who are watching us on Twitch, do not panic. Just uh, go take a coffee and uh, be right back for, for the interview. Exactly. Thank you very much, Dina, and uh, see you later. Thank you. It was a pleasure. See you soon, guys. See you soon.